Is it a male hops plant? Is it a female hops plant? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today, folks. Max Raphael here from Hops World. Tip number 28. Is it male or female? It's a hermaphrodite. Let's do it. Hey friends, glad I could be with you today to talk about hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodites actually occur in nature, in plants and animals, and actually even occur at times in humans. This is the rare occurrence when a plant or animal has sex organs, both male and female. As in the case of this plant here, you can clearly see the male hops flowers and the female hops cones. If you didn't watch my video, male versus female, check it out and it explains a little better. But there are cases where humans have been hermaphrodite and there are some species of animals that actually it's pretty common. But in the case of hops, it's pretty rare. It does occur. And it seems to occur a lot of times in certain varieties, especially in, in particular our Zeus, which is the USDA Zeus variety. It is a triploid variety, which means it has a rare number of chromosomes that were altered genetically. And that might be a big reason why. But our Zeus plants are monstrous and the male flowers never seem to hurt and I've never had a male flower that actually had pollen that we could actually pollinate a cone and I don't think there is any cases known where uh, male pollen from a hermaphrodite pollinated any cone and I don't think it takes away from the strength of the plant either I've heard people, lots of people ask me if they should cut these male pods. Typically you won't have nearly as many as this. This plant was actually grown from seed, so it's a cross and something funky happened with the genetics. It definitely has the huge cone genome we are looking for, but it has the hermaphrodite genome also apparently. But we never do cut these male parts, they don't seem to bother anything. And in fact, some of my biggest plants each year have hermaphroditism. So another thing I want to mention is why does this happen? Now I read in a lot of places how that the hermaphrodite is caused when the plant is stressed. Now I've had the same plants one right next to another with the same treatment, same water, same everything. And one is hermaphrodite and one isn't. This plant, I don't believe is stressed. It actually is the first plant to flower here. And there's a couple hundred different brand new varieties all made from seed. And this was definitely the most hermaphrodite plant I've ever seen. It has some flowers really distorted with angel wings, these cones, and some really funky cones. I really think it's just genetics, folks. And I think it's Mother Nature trying to make the plant seed. Realize these plants, all they want to do is seed naturally, reproduce, it's nature. So I think that very similar to its close cousin, the cannabis family. 
the plant's hermaphrodite as a natural way to reproduce. So this is the prettiest plant hermaphrodite I've ever owned, ever seen. Unfortunately, it has lots of male parts, so it's probably not a keeper. But damn, them cones are beautiful. Check this one out. Full of lupulin. Might be worth it just to send them out to get tested. So let me show you the difference here. We scan over to here, this plant right there is a male, 100%. You can see the male small flowers going down the stem. And over on the other side, there's our hermaphrodite. We have a pure female here just starting to cone up. Another one of our crosses. So, in general, keep your hermaphrodites. Don't stress. Okay. So, there you have it. A little bit confused, we could say, but that's a hermaphrodite. One thing I want to mention that we have to be careful to not let the male flowers get mixed in with our hops cones will definitely hurt the flavors and the taste of the beer once we make beer. Now, if you're manually picking, it doesn't really make much of a difference. But if you have a picker or a hops harvester, you have to be careful. I just recently talked to an acquaintance that actually tears down the hops plants that have lots of hermaphroditism, and he doesn't even pick them because he has a picker. So you have to keep your eye out for that. So if you liked our tip, put a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. I'll put a link over here. Check out one of our other videos. I appreciate it, folks. Cheers to life.